Hello, and thanks for joining me for another quick lesson video. I hope you're feeling artistic, because today we're going to make our own piece of moving line art based on a self-portrait. Not quite sure what I mean? Well, here's an example for you. As you can see, I've got this really vibrant neon yellow portrait coming to life in front of us, and just as quickly as it appears, it disappears again in a sense of mystery. To create this really cool effect, we're going to do a drawing made up of one single line for your whole face. I'll show you how later on. To get this working, the first step is to capture a selfie on your iPad. I'll show you how to do that and how to position it in Keynote ready to go. Then we're going to use an Apple Pencil or a Logitech Crayon to do a line drawing all around our face. Remember we're doing it in one movement, and I'll show you that as well in a moment or two. Then we're going to experiment with colours, background and foreground colours, to make your image really pop off the screen. When you've got your picture looking absolutely amazing, we're going to add the animation effects to really bring it to life. This is my favourite part of the tutorial and I can't wait to show you. When that's done, we'll export it as a movie file that you can then share however you need to in the future. So all you're going to need for this is an iPad, obviously, with the Keynote app installed. A Logitech crayon on Apple Pencil will help you draw, but you can use your finger if you want to as well. I would recommend a stylus if you've got one nearby. OK, that's quite enough talking. Grab your iPad and we'll start step number one. Alright, open up the Keynote app, and as usual, we'll make a new blank presentation. So tap onto the plus button, tap onto Theme Browser, and then just choose the normal white plain theme. When that's opened, tap and drag a box over the text boxes, and tap on Delete, so you've now got a blank white slide ready to go. From here, you want to press the plus button in the top right corner, and go onto Camera. You can use a photo of anything you like here, but I want to use a selfie. So I'll make sure I'm using the selfie camera, and then I'm going to do a very serious and artistic looking pose. And then I'm going to add that onto my keynote slide. From here, it's simply a case of resizing it so it fills as much of your page as possible so that your line drawing will be really big on your screen. Lastly, for our first step, we're going to tap onto the picture and press the Format Paintbrush in the top right corner. From here, go along to Style, and then drag the Opacity slider around about halfway down. That will make your picture semi-see-through, which makes it easier to trace over later. Then go on to Arrange and tap on Lock. Now your picture won't move by accident and you're ready to start step number two. Let's have a quick pause here a minute while you all go and take your selfies and when you're ready, step number two will be here for you. All right, this step is really good fun. Grab your pencil or crayon, tap on the screen to bring the drawing tools up and then go on to the pen tool. With the pen tool selected, you want to choose a sort of medium to large thickness, not the thickest pen size, but somewhere in the middle, and choose any colour you like. One that will contrast against your photo will be good, just so you can see what you've drawn. I'll go for a nice lime green colour. And then, you're going to tap your pencil down somewhere on your face, and just start drawing. The goal here is to draw your whole face, your whole self-portrait, without letting your stylus leave the screen. That means in one continuous stroke. Now, this is a bit tricky. But to be honest, you don't need to think too hard about it. If you mess up, if you go outside the line, if you accidentally give yourself a third eyeball, don't worry, roll with it. Keep the movement going, keep that pencil going around your face, add a bit of shading if you can, perhaps for your hair or your eyeballs, and don't worry too much about this being perfect. In fact, I'll tell you now, yours is not going to be perfect. This is all about the process, and it gives a really amazing abstract style self-portrait at the end. The more abstract, the better, as far as I'm concerned. When you finish your drawing, press Done in the top corner, and then you're ready to move on to step number three. Have a moment or two now to go and trace around your picture, and don't worry about it looking perfect. What you're doing will look great. I'm ready here when you are for step number three. It's time to start looking at colour. So what we'll do first of all is get rid of that photograph we took in step number one. So tap on your photo, press Unlock, and then press Delete. Now you've just got your line drawing on the page. With the photo gone, you can then press the Format Paintbrush and go to Slide Background to change your background colour for your piece of art. Choose any colour you like here, even if your foreground colour isn't quite right, we'll change that next. Experiment with some different colours. I'm going to go for this grey for the moment, but I might change it later on, who knows? You can change yours as well. When you've done that, you're going to get your pencil again and tap onto your drawing. That will take you back into the drawing editing mode. But crucially, you're not going to do any drawing here. In fact, you're going to choose the tool which is kind of like a white pencil with a grey and white stripy nib at the end, and that's the selection tool. Tap hold of that one, and draw a rough shape around your whole drawing. That will select what you've done already. And now, where the colour picker normally is, you'll see a new button that I'll point to now on the screen. Tap on there, 
and you can then change the colour of your drawing to whatever colour you want. Choose one that looks great against your background colour here. When you're happy with your foreground colour, press done. And remember, if you want to, you can change your background colour as well now to make the perfect colour scheme for your piece of art. Have some fun exploring those colour options, see what you want to choose for your piece of art, and when you're ready, we can go on to step number four. It's now time to make your drawing come to life with some animation. So using your finger, tap to select your drawing once, and then press animate on that floating toolbar. On here, you'll get the animation bar at the bottom of your screen, and you can have a choice to add three different types of action. First of all, we'll add a build-in effect. So tap onto there, and then you're gonna choose line draw. You'll get a preview straight away, and you should see exactly what's coming as your drawing comes to life in front of your eyes. I'll come off that screen by pressing the X in the lower left corner, and now I'm gonna add a build out effect as well to make my artwork disappear. You've guessed it, I'm gonna choose line draw again. Tap on that X, and now on the action bar at the bottom, you should see line draw for your build in, nothing in the middle, and then line draw for your build out at the end. That's exactly what you want. Tap onto the first line draw now for the build in. Here we're gonna change a couple of quick settings. First of all, where it says start, tap onto there, and you want it to start after transition. Make sure there's no delay, because you want it to start as soon as your slideshow is played, and then go back. Now we're gonna go onto acceleration, and the acceleration will show the speed at which that drawing will happen. I want my speed to be a constant speed, so my acceleration is gonna be set to none. Tap back, and then we're gonna go onto the build out action as well. From here, you're gonna set the animation start to happen after the previous event. And you're gonna add a slight delay here if you want to as well. That's so that your portrait can stay on the screen for a few seconds before it disappears. I'm gonna choose a four second delay. I'll tap back and then again go onto acceleration to set none as my acceleration style. Now the animations are all done, you can come out of the animation screen and then you can press the play button in the top of Keynote to get a preview of what your artwork is gonna look like when you export it. It should look amazing as your drawing builds in as if you're drawing it there in real time. It should pause for a moment or two, and then at the end it will disappear as if you're rubbing it out again. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, time now for one last pause while you add your animations in, and then when you're ready, step number five will begin shortly. The last thing to do is to export our artwork as a movie to share elsewhere. So tap the three dots in the corner of Keynote, and then go down to where it says export. From this screen, you want to choose movie. Now on the movie export screen, you can choose what resolution you want it to be. I'm gonna stick for 1080p HD. And you can also choose a few other settings, such as when the animation should start. I'm happy to leave all of these as zero seconds. That means the animation will play as soon as the movie starts, which sounds good to me. So from here, we're gonna press export. And when it comes up, we're gonna share that video by saving the video to our photos album. Then the last thing to do is to check it's saved. So come out of Keynote, open up the Photos app, and your video should be there, ready to play. And that's it, mission accomplished. Your piece of moving line art is complete. Wow, that was fast paced, but I hope you managed to get a piece of artwork finished at the end of that tutorial. So we've taken our selfie in Keynote. We've then used the pencil or crayon to do an outline drawing around your whole picture. Remember, it was a one line drawing. Then we've chosen some really cool colors to make it pop out of the screen, and we've added some line draw animations. We've gone into settings of the animations and fine-tuned them slightly before exporting it as a finished movie and a finished piece of art. And hopefully that's it. You've created your own piece of moving line art and I hope you're proud of it. I really, really wish I could see what you're doing right now and it might be you can share it. So if you can, please share it on Twitter or Instagram with the Quick Lessons hashtag or let me know in the comments below how you got on. I'd love to hear how your journey went on this tutorial. And lastly, if you've enjoyed this and you want to try some more quick lessons, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any, and there are a couple more examples on the right hand side. Until next time, take care.